In this video, we'll be replacing the rear struts in a Toyota Prius. First thing that you want to do is remove the trunk cover and the cargo box, which we'll just pull out. You can remove the cargo hooks. There's just two 10 millimeter bolts. And obviously if you have a power tool, it's gonna work a little faster, but you can use a socket and wrench. Then you're gonna remove the panels that sit on the battery box and they'll just pull off. There are just tabs holding them on. Remove the trunk side and rear panels and the cargo hooks. Uh, you'll either find plastic tabs or there'll be 10 millimeter bolts. Uh, there should be six of those to remove. And you can just gently pull up on the areas that have the plastic tabs so that you don't break them. Make sure when you take those panels out that you put them someplace safe so they don't get dirty or scuffed up. You're then going to remove the battery cooler duct. There's a little plug that you'll have to undo just by pushing the tab. And then you're going to remove the mounts for the strut. You'll need a long extension to reach those nuts. The front one is not so bad. The back one there, you notice you're going to have to be careful that you don't drop that nut when you take it off. If your hand fits down in there, be very careful holding it. As you can see, he's doing it with the tip of his fingers to pull it out. You're then going to raise the vehicle and remove the wheel. Uh, if you're doing this in your garage, you're going to have to put it up on jack stands. You'll have to remove the lower strut mount bolt, and then you're going to have to put a support underneath the rear axle. So you'll need another uh, jack stand to do that. Remove that lower bolt, 19 millimeter for the strut, And then you'll probably have to pry it off with a pry bar and then it should pull right out. Install the new strut up into the vehicle first and then mount it and you may need that pry bar again to push it back on and you're gonna tighten that bolt to 59 foot pounds. You'll tighten the upper strut mount to 59 foot pounds as well. Remove that jack stand that's holding the axle and bring the uh, wheel back over and put that on. Install those lug nuts. And once it's on the ground, you want to torque those to 76 foot pounds each. You're then going to have to reach down and put that nut back on. He is using a magnet there to hold it so that he doesn't drop it and then put a socket on it, or he's turning it first with his hand to make sure that it's on there before you apply pressure. You don't want to strip out that nut. And then you can tighten the other one. The other one is easier to get to. You're going to reinstall that battery cooler duct and plug in the attachment that you undid. Reassemble all of the trunk side and rear panels again. You will have some that parts that just push on because they have tabs behind them. And then you should have four 10 millimeter bolts. And you're just gonna tighten those down to five foot pounds, which is just a general tightness. Notice he pulled the seat belt through there before he installed that rear panel that's important. And again, if you have a power tool, this goes much quicker. Reinstall that panel on the battery box. You notice he's popping out those pieces. They stuck in the battery. They actually screw onto the little panel. And then that makes them easy to push into the top of the battery box.
reinstall those cargo hooks and the other panels that you took off, those cargo hooks. Uh, again, about nine foot pounds, just tight enough that you know that they're gonna hold if you attach something to that hook. Again, just pushing down to make sure that everything is attached properly. Then you'll reinstall the cargo box and put the trunk cover back in, and that's it.